Hey guys, it's the one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Last episode was actually a really cool episode because we custom painted our own rental cars for the area. It turned out pretty cool. I would drive that about. I wouldn't feel like an idiot if, if I rented that out in a, a nice city like this, driving around. It's pretty cool. Uh, but today, we want to actually build the car rental service building here uh, for it. Now, what I've started to do is eke out just a little bit bit more space you can see I've carved away an outline I haven't removed any trees or anything like that because it's just a pain to do that uh, oh voice come back but I have sort of done this little outline here that I'm hoping if we're clever we can sort of use to get just it's literally like four blocks of space but four blocks of space in a plot of this size is actually really quite a lot. So that should be good. That doesn't look too unnatural. It still nicely ramps down on the side of the road. And you can see we've gained like this whole corner. It's actually squared off the plot basically quite nicely. So let's get rid of this. And blocks. I want a sort of modernish feel or a modern feel to this building. So maybe with some grey. Maybe with some snow for the nice sort of white parts. Uh, we'll want some nice glass windows. I'm actually torn between black windows and white windows again. Um, I'll grab both of them if I've got the space. Um, I think the black going against like a white building could be really nice. But then we also want black and some sort of green or lime. Lime would be good to go and match in with our cars as like a... A sort of a complementive block. We want a slab for the roof. I'm going with a flat style roof on here. I think it'd make a lot of sense. And maybe some cobblestone walls because I think I want like a little bit of an overhang. Uh, like over the entrance on here. So, layout. I would like... The cars will be parked along the front, similar to how we had them at the end of last episode. Like one, two, three, four. But maybe back a little bit. Uh, so you can drive or maybe they could be on the road. It doesn't really uh, on the edge of the road it doesn't really matter Let's say if this is the back left corner because we can't really go any more than that. Let's turn these shaders off We can't really go any more further back than that. I would like Garage spot oh, a bit of uh, lag there one garage spot just so the people can do some maintenance on the vehicle if necessary. So if we keep that in line here and we come out like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say we come out eight blocks. You could fit a car in there quite nicely. And then if we said five blocks between, that would be a nice garage door to go in there. So then this part of the build is going to be the actual sort of uh, rental part. It doesn't need to be big because really inside all you're gonna have is a little seating area for where they do the paperwork and a desk and then I suppose sort of staff kitchen and toilet maybe um, like lunches and stuff. So let's drop this back by a couple of blocks uh, so it's not all flat on the front and have something like that. So that's gonna be our layout like a little miniature L but then on the front door part, let's say the front door part is on this side, so then you'd have the, 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 the seating area, the kitchen area, and then like a door through to this little garage part. I would like a little bit of an overhang, so we're going to use some cobblestone walls. It doesn't need to be all that deep. I'm thinking probably three blocks between the wall and the pillar. And if we had the door on two blocks there, that would mean the other wall bit goes there. I think that's going to be plenty enough room to then have the cars sitting out front waiting to go so wall design i've put these down in this sort of mossy block if we done like a line of that and then a line of this white on top that actually looks quite nice they really complement each other quite well so let's do that's gonna be the door like that that can go down like here that can go like this and that goes along the back. I missed a couple of blocks. How's everyone doing today? I'm actually in an amazing mood today. I'll tell you why. I'm on holiday from work. Um, it's actually, it makes me 
sad to say this is actually my last holiday now uh before my birthday in february uh we because of the um type of shop that we work in or that i work in which is a, a toy shop as you can imagine at christmas it goes very busy i've mentioned this uh, a couple of times before and uh because of how busy it is we're not actually allowed any holiday uh, after this point i've sort of cut it really close on on when i can actually take my holiday so on the good side like i'm, I'm super happy because i'm on holiday and i get to chill out uh, that is in the back of my mind I'm, i know oh, i've got until the last week of february my birthday is the 26th of february so i've got like like well three four months or however however long it is uh until i'll get my next week off because you can't really even have much holiday um until basically february anyway you can't really take any holiday in january even because would you believe it it's actually busy in january um you wouldn't think so i didn't think so my first year uh well in fact everybody's first year that we worked there we thought oh you know what january it'll be nice and quiet because all of the parents and stuff have spent all their money at christmas and uh you know the kids will be now playing with the presents and, and it'll be fine you know january will be nice and quiet nope we was wrong nearly as busy as as sort of a week of, of december a lot of it is because people are bringing back uh toys that they say don't work uh sometimes they they don't work and there's actually something wrong with it sometimes uh, they are actually uh just trying to pull the wool over our eyes i'm actually going to make this small i'm going to move it this try to pull the wool over our eyes and uh they just didn't like it or hmm, do i like how that curves out no, I don't think so. I'm going to bust this back. Uh, and and or, or try to actually scam us with items that like we don't actually sell or things like that. Actually, surprisingly, how many people do try that kind of thing? Okay, so there's like a little... Uh, I can imagine that's sort of the, the logo on the building. Is that too tall? Would we... Should we cut this down? But yeah, anyway, I've been super happy all week uh, because of... I'm being... Because of me being on holiday i've actually um got into a new game and and it's really surprising because it's not anywhere near not anywhere near the kind of game that i would normally play it's a grand strategy game now i've never never played a grand strategy game um like well civilization is more of a strategy game and and what have you got like rome total war and things like that they're they're strategy games but this is a grand strategy game this game is called stellaris and it's a really i'm gonna put this up here actually it's a really cool game it's like a space game and and you manage like your little species but there's so much detail like you can go into with it uh it, it's crazy and it's got me absolutely hooked i have put in so many hours into this this stupid game it's crazy and because it's like a it's like a strategy game or it's a strategy game so there's no like natural break points in it like it's a silly example but if you're playing minecraft and and you've got to go to bed soon and you're like right i'll just finish up this building and go to bed or i'll just finish up mining this cave and then go to bed or i'll just finish off this farm or do one last trade and then i'll go to bed there's always like points where you can you can stop uh with shooter games you know if you're playing online you can go right this is going to be my last game and then i'm off to bed with these strategy games i've sort of found out there's no there's no natural break anywhere <laughs> it's Okay, I'll build up this ship and then I can go and attack this one and then I'll go and get that colony and then I'll move these people over here and then I'll do that and then I'll do this and before you know it, it's like quarter past one in the morning <laughs> and you're like, right, no, I need to stop. I need to go to bed. This is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, 
I've I've been one of those people uh, recently. Let's just try black. I think I prefer the white. It's really close, but I think I prefer the white. Okay, so I've done a little bit of a uh, work. <laughs> well, well, being on a rant there, I really like the look of the building. I would really like a little bit of height difference between this part of the building and that part. Now, I've got a little bit of height difference unnaturally with the two signs going on here. I can imagine this one says, like, Zono Rentals or whatever, and then this one just says Garage on it. Um, but I'd really like to just, like, push up. Maybe the garage should be... Now, maybe this sharp part should be a little bit taller. Would mean putting this line back in that I just removed. So if I'd done something like that. Maybe we ah, maybe we take this out because this was being all awkward here anyway. I didn't really like this part either. And then I put this down here, which is where it should really be to begin with. Oops. I might even put them... Oh, I sort of like the black. I could do it like this. Oh, yeah, no, I prefer that. And then... Maybe we do... Like a black to there. And a... Black to here. And then green there. And there. And then we put this back around the top of this. I think that looks too high. I think we'll use a slab instead. Like so. But yeah, no, I'm addicted to it. Oh, did I tell you what the game is called? The, ga <laughs> the game's called Stellaris. If any of you guys are uh, sort of into those kind of games, uh, then I, I recommend you try it. In fact... Even if you're not into grand strategy games, which I certainly wasn't. I was just flicking through. I have um, Xbox Game Pass. And um, I was just sort of flicking through the, the library. There's like 200 games and it's like, what is it, like seven ninety nine every three months or something like that. And I was like, ah, you know what? I'll have a flick through. I'll see if I can, if I find something that I want to have a look at, then uh, then I'll, I'll take a look at it. And uh, I saw that and I, I saw actually like a week or so ago and I thought, you know, I'm not really a grand strategy game sort of guy. I'll, I'll leave it. And then I saw it again and I was like, you know what? I'll have a look on YouTube, see what the people I have on there uh, say about it. And they got pretty good reviews. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'll give it a go. And when I got into the game, it was so complicated. There's so many menus. It's like insanely in depth. And I was completely lost. And I nearly put the game down and thought, you know, I, I, I can't do this. This is, this is above my head. This is, this is for people smarter than me. Um, so I nearly put it down. I thought, no, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to try and work it out. And once you've got it worked out, it's amazing. Like, totally, totally, totally amazing. Now, I'm playing it on the Xbox, uh, which is about four patches, apparently, behind the PC version. And the PC version is very, very different now to the version that we've got on the Xbox. Very similar to how um, Minecraft started when we first got it on Xbox, you know, it was it was miles behind in terms of um, like updates and stuff, wasn't it? it? It was like it was like miles behind, and it took a long time for it to catch up. Uh, but it's basically caught up now, isn't it? On on Xbox Bedrock Edition is is basically the same as it is on on PC now. So uh, it, it's finally caught itself back up. Um, do I want this above here as well? I'm just trying to add some depth. To the build now yeah i think i like this um it's finally caught up so i'm hoping it's the last will as well so i think apparently it's running on like 1.8 on the xbox and i think pc is like on 2.2 or something along those lines a lot of like the main core aspects are a lot different um like like the settlements and the colonies and stuff like that but in general it's a really good starting point. And because I've never played the one on PC, I know no different. Which is really useful for me because I don't know how much worse the Xbox version is in comparison. Uh, button. So for me, it's just great. Uh, 
<laughs> so we've got a garage door on there. It's a nice sort of simple but modern looking building. I can really sort of feel this. I'm not sure if I like this side here now. I love that. I like how it's two blocks thick. I don't like this anymore. It's weird how things change. We can change this to be the same colour all the way around. It's a little... It needs a little white on here. Unless we change this up to white to then all match in. This isn't going to break anything that good. Then I think I really like that. I think I really like that. Okay, so let's get a a wall across here, like 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 a bit of a perimeter fence. Now, what would you want for this? Probably a little chain mail fence, maybe uh, two blocks high. But we need a block underneath it, really. Even a stair could work. Yeah. And some kind of maybe just a chisel block. Not in too not not pillar fancy, but just quite fancy. Uh I think we're gonna put it there. And then we'll have this fence going across here. Can the cars get out? Where is the car? It's right at the bottom, isn't it, from what I remember? It would be really tight for them to get out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna remove that then. And uh, we're not gonna put a front on here. Instead, we'll put a line on the road instead, like this. Uh, beautiful. Okay, something like that. I might as well put it in there as well. Yeah, so that's that's marked off. Now we can make basically everything on the inside here stone. Might as well might as well just do all of it here. Um no, we're gonna go we're gonna go to here. Uh replace grass with stone. And then this is the sort of back area. Um, how would we, maybe we just go with, um, just simple iron bars. It's the, it's the back of the building, so you're not even really going to see it, but it just puts a little bit of a border just up to here. That's all we probably need. Maybe I could go over that. Well, I probably could actually. There we go. Okay, I feel like I'm way over time for this episode, but it doesn't matter. Okay, just something like that. Uh, maybe three blocks tall. Just so it looks a little bit like a secure perimeter. I hate placing iron bars on iron bars. It's like torture. You need to be so precise. Oh, 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 what a run. Ah. <laughs> okay, beautiful. That's just on the back there. You can't even really see it, but when you're sort of going past, you get that sort of little glimpse of it there. Okay, yellow. Just on the floor here. Don't be a fool and park in front of the garage. Um... That should probably be about right. So if we get these cars now, we'll point them out so you can just drive straight out. Is that the right spot? No, I should probably come back a block. On this one. There. 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 Oh, that looks so cool. It's a bit of a shame that the green is different. Can I get closer green? I could using modded blocks. Like actually that's like really close. Oh, that's a clean version of it. Hang on, let me let me let me have a look at both. It's a, it's such a closer green to what we've got down there. Uh, 
Oh, just get the... It's like proper Enterprise Green. Obviously, we base this off Enterprise, the company. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's like almost a absolute perfect green. Shame we can't dye the garage doors. That would be such a cool little thing that you could do is if you could just dye them using dye. So you could make like houses have like different colored garage doors. Mmm. There you go. Mod designers. Figure that one out. Okay. Uh, what about as a final touch? Wool. And then one of them. And then one of them. And then one of them, one of them, and six of them. It's probably a little bit too tall, but it's okay. What do you think? No, I think it's about the right height, actually. Now I've come back. Yeah, absolutely sick. So, uh, we haven't got time to do an interior. I don't think there's really much to an interior to this anyway. We've got plenty enough room on the inside here. I like how you go like underneath this little part here. And then you'd have like literally, literally a little seating area, a little desk here, a wall behind you, a little kitchen, door through to the garage. It's perfect. All right, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!